my hope is right. I, I I could talk all day about online education and, and, right. and right, from a technological standpoint, right? I've been I've been involved in online education since 1999. Created a fully online program at Hunter, right? The mm. first of its kind that trains teachers and things like mm. that. I could talk about the technological aspect of that for a while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think the thing that is so special about my teachers and the thing that I hope that I model is that, right, like it is that human component that we mm -hmm. are all here to help each other and we are all here. And like Bell Hooks was right when she said, like, everything is rooted in love, right? Mm -hmm. We don't talk about love and education enough. Um, you'll notice I refer to my kids as my kids and they're <laughs> fully grown graduate students that are teachers at New York City schools. But those are my kids, right? Uh, those are my uh, whole heart. Um, and so, you know, my hope is that that we model love and kindness so that mm. they can go and they can bring love and kindness to their kids. Mm -hmm. um, and and also, you know, within love and kindness comes intrinsic motivation and the joy in learning and the, that light bulb. And when you see, you know, teacher educators light up about what they're excited about, then that travels to their teachers. And then the teachers take that and that travels to their students, right? Learning should be fun and happy and full of joy. Mm -hmm. And my hope is that I model that every day. And my hope mm -hmm. is in doing that, right? We, we can change things. Things can change and shift. They see mm -hmm. a happy teacher educator, they're happy teachers and their kids are happy kids, right? And that hopefully flows down to the kids' parents as well. So, I, I mean, I hope in one sense, I've been thinking about legacy a lot, and I hope in one mm -hmm. sense that my legacy is um, not only bringing more intrinsic motivation into education and learning, and also, you know, I hope that my legacy is is bringing more online learning and different ways to learn mm -hmm. into traditional classrooms. Mm -hmm. But also that I leave a legacy of of love and happiness, mm -hmm. and that those are not separate from education, right, but right. All, right, but but together, and really the whole point, mm -hmm. right? That learning is life, right? Yeah. And that intrinsically motivated learning just like grasps the heart of life. And it's just like, it's here, let's do it. Let's do it together. Right, right. Um, so it is, it's, it's, you know, intrinsic motivation has been a part of my, my whole entire existence for, mm. for, you know, since I was 19 years old. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope I bring some of that in classrooms, but just by spreading joy and happiness and love, but also by really working within teacher education to help improve education right. on a school-wide level, on a statewide level. I'm very involved in, in my state board on a mm. national level. Like that, that's my hope. Mm -hmm. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.